You know how sometimes when you feel an absolute top of the world and life just comes right in and smacks you in the face? Well, in today's video, I want to share with you three stories that went something like that. I was in a relationship and I got cheated on. When I was 16, I'd gotten way too drunk at this party I was at. And so I ended up falling asleep in my friend who was having the party's room. And this guy came in and sexually assaulted me. And after I'd gotten my work visa to work here in the US as a professional dancer, after years of living on air mattresses in my friend's room, just living off of ramen to save as much money as possible, I auditioned for what I thought was like my dream world tour. And I ended up making it to the final three. They were looking for three girls. They had our passport information and I was like, I booked this thing. Turns out I did not bug it. And today I want to share these stories with you. With one purpose and one purpose only. But first, today's plan is as follows. Wake up at 3.30, do my morning routine. Check, work my butt off on these 30 videos in 30 days that we've got going on right now. Dishwasher, wash sheets, call grandparents, do a leg day. And to finish off the day, something very special is gonna happen today. I don't actually know what that special thing is yet, but I just feel like something good is coming. Let's get ready for the gym. Voila, let's go. If you were to ask science, I supposedly should be very strong today because this girl has been eating a lot of food the last few days. It's like since my gut is feeling better, it's as if because my digestive system is in check, it wants more food to be digested. It did, it did. kind of does make sense, doesn't it? I feel like we can do more than three plates today, but let's start with the three plate. We did do a warm up. And if you want to try my training program, by the way, it's linked in the description and you can see some of it right here. Let's go. We need some Beyonce beauty beautiful liar to keep us going. So you know how I said that there was this world tour that I thought was gonna be my dream job? Well, oh. okay, not as strong as I would have hoped. They said they were looking for three dancers and we were three dancers that were left for the final auditions. We even went to fittings at Rodeo Drive. They just used the three of us as like fitting models so that they didn't have to pay the actual dancers who were gonna be doing the job. <laughs> Which they knew the entire time that they were just rebooking the same girls from last year plus one other girl. And so they tricked us into believing that we had booked the job when we had it. They did book this one girl though. And I was so sad that it wasn't me because I really thought like my dream had finally become a reality. But it turns out that the fact that I didn't get this job was the best thing that could ever, ever uh, happen to me. Let me explain. The one girl that did book this job ended up only being on the job for one month and it was supposed to be 12 months. What happened was that the artist ended up hitting on her and doing other things that we're not gonna get into in this video. And so she ended up having a not very good experience and getting off the job after a month. And so what I see today that I just was not able to see at the time was that the universe, God, angels, whatever you believe in, was really just saving me from that terrifying experience. And instead, what happened was at that specific time when I found out that I had not booked the job, was the exact same time that I inserted my Instagram profile, which today has led me to everything that I do in my life and in my career that just fulfills me on a whole nother level. And I'm so certain that at one point in your life, you thought that something that you wanted was the only good thing that could happen to you at the time. But then the fact that it did not happen or that something else happened was far greater than you could have ever experienced. And I just think it's very important to keep those things in mind because then when challenges does come our way and we think that it's something happening to us, it's a great reminder that it is happening for us. We've all heard it, but we all need the reminder every now and then, don't we? I definitely do. <laughs> I broke a nail! What? <laughs> oh my god, I broke two! You're so They're clumsy. literally on the floor! <laughs> Okay, so today's video is about how <laughs> you're struggling. Oh my god, you're so <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. So, so today's say? video is about how when things go wrong, it's actually a blessing in disguise. You know what I think should go in that vlog? Remember how we went on that hike and first you called me something very nice and then afterwards I lost my key on the hilltop? What did I call you that wasn't very nice? Clip switch. <laughs> well, the other day we had planned to go on a hike together and a few things did not go according to plan on this day. Alex is 10 minutes late and then he sends me this message. Well, the first thing that happened is that he's from Greece and sends me sometimes Greek messages. And so I look it up on Google and it means this. I was like, I'm leaving. I'm doing this hike by myself. But apparently it just means like... In Greek, I mean, like, is it really hectic? Like, is it really going crazy over there? And I meant in terms of parking. If you don't have a great apology, you're about to be hiking by yourself. I'm 
But this was just a little hiccup. The thing that actually went wrong on this hike happened once the sun went down. But first, we danced a little salsa. Show us some moves. Oh, oh. A little wow. history lesson about my own country and the, the Vikings. Finish. Were the real Vikings? No, the Danes were. And that's why the Danes had the first king. Did you know all of this? Have you or... seen this Dane? Did you know <laughs> Have all of you this? seen that? <laughs> no, I didn't. Thank you for giving me a Danish history lesson. Made a little TikTok at the hilltop. <laughs> I love it. You're, you're so cute. And this is where I made a mistake because I left something at the hilltop that we didn't find out about till we reached the bottom of the hill and the sun had gone down. <laughs> Wait, you actually gotta do that? I was totally joking. <laughs> Whoa. You can't see anything because it's dark. I realized I left my car key on the top where I did the TikTok. Now we have to go all the way back up there. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Oh, another hike we go. And all of that was just to prove my point that when something little inconvenient happened as having gone on a full hike and then getting to the bottom and realizing that you have to do the whole thing again because you realize that you forgot your key at the top of the hill. It may seem annoying at the moment, but we ended up having an incredible second full on hike. And so once again, that because we chose to turn it into something good, it became that. Just get up. <laughs> One leg at a time. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do to you? <laughs> Your toes on my knees. Please watch out. Watch out for what? All right, now you're gonna try and get up on that handstand. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You're the one who told me to do it. I don't want to do it anymore. We're getting a little shower by Doggy while we work out our abs. <laughs> it's very, very nice. Thank you so much, Cutie. I'm so sorry. I don't think this is very delicious for you. <laughs> Katie's about to hit a PR. How do you feel? Nervous but excited. You got this. Yeah, I got it. I'm going to be your I'm cheerleader on the side. Before we get into this little bit of a cheating story, heartbreak of mine, in case you're new here, today is actually day eight of my 30 day video series that I'm doing where every single day I'm posting a new YouTube video. And during this challenge, I'll actually be giving away a program for free every single day during these 30 days. All you have to do is subscribe, like the video and comment your Instagram below. And also feel free to go back and watch the other videos that I've posted during this so series. So back when I was cheated on, which there's different definitions of what cheating is, but to me, what happened was definitely cheating and the person who did it knew that as well. I was absolutely crushed because I'd given everything to that person in every way, energetically, emotionally, financially. And it was so painful. You know, when you are going through a heartbreak, you're like, am I ever going to find love again? And oh my God, I have only good things to say about this person, only love towards him. But oh my goodness, it was so good that this happened because this was the first relationship I had since coming to the US and we weren't supposed to be together. And if this hadn't happened, I don't know when I would have been ready to cut it. And I remember so many times I had gotten these little whispers that, you know, we get in our heads saying to me that we aren't meant to be together. Like this is not good for you, Pranella. But I don't know about you, but sometimes it takes me a while to be willing and ready to actually listen to those little voices that are talking to me. Oprah talks about this. It's like you get these little whispers and then they get louder and louder and louder. And unless you listen to them and start acting upon them, then it's like at one point they will slap you in the face and like just completely turn your life upside down but if you dare to listen to them right away then those dramatic life changes don't have to happen in such an extreme way if i just listen to the little whispers but i learned a lot from it and my life only got better because that happened and oh my goodness the people in my life i have today the gratitude i have it actually makes me cry sometimes in the morning when i write my gratitude list because i'm just so freaking grateful so if you're in the midst of a breakup right now i know it's freaking hard but i promise you you're gonna get onto the other side of this so much stronger and the people that are supposed to be in your life they'll come to you and it'll make sense i promise you these mountains are just gorgeous so when i was 16 and that party happened where i drank too much which when you live in denmark you're allowed to drink when you're 16 but i remember when that party happened and that guy came 
in the room and did things to me that are terrifying to think about because I know I think it's like one out of three women experience that in some way or another and I remember literally the day after showering for a long time just crying and feeling very uncomfortable but having gone through that just like with any challenging experience that we go through once we've healed that traumatic experience it helps us gain a new level of self-awareness and understanding for both ourselves but also others and I do think that the reason this happened to me is so that I in some way shape or form can help others who possibly have experienced something like that in their life and also just so you know this is like over 10 years ago I've gone through therapy totally healed and at peace with it and my experience can't be compared to the heartbreaking traumatic experiences that I know many individuals have had to go through so my hope with sharing this is that if you've ever experienced anything that needs healing that this leads you to seek the professional help that you need in order for you to work through this trauma but on a lighter note going back to this whole well, theme of when things don't work out the way we want it to mm. like how sometimes it's good to run out of whipped cream because that means you're gonna stop eating it constantly because it's like literally right here so that every time you open the fridge all you want to do is just give a little and then you're both kind of sad but also kind of happy whenever it runs out because you know it's maybe not the best habit so another little example of this if you've been watching my whole glow situation that had been going on for a while you know that it got so extreme to a point where i was like i'm going to figure this thing out because if it had not gone to this extreme uncomfortability i just wouldn't have been willing to make the changes that were necessary in order for me to figure it out and well, if you want a healthy gut bone broth as i'm sure you already know is absolutely incredible. Each packet has around 70 calories and 15 grams of protein. So it's also helping us with them gains. And she's got so many flavors. We got a home style, rosemary thyme, sriracha chicken, french onion, thyme lemongrass. And if you know me, you know that I like my food to be quick, healthy, and delicious. And Dr. Kellyanne's bone broth is all of that because what I've been doing at night, I literally just heat up some water and pour one of these packets in my cup. And here we got most delicious, healthy, nutritious, gut happy, mood happy, the soupy-liciousness. Also, she has so many delicious recipes on her website. Highly recommend. And if you want to try it for yourself, you can use my code PRNELLA to get a discount and get a healthy, happy gut, hair, nails, all the good things. Check out the link in the description and your belly is going to be happy. It's really just this reminder that everything that feels like a roadblock is for us. It is a gift from the universe, God, whatever it is that is leading us towards the direction that we're supposed to be in. I just need to make one thing very clear, and that is sometimes life just sucks. When it's those massive life crises, you do not need to look at the positive. I am just talking about the little things in life where we can choose to make a perspective because some things in life are just terrible but i'm just here to try to help us all look for the good in those challenges that we go through sometimes it's simply because we need to learn a lesson we need a perspective shift sometimes when shit hits the fan we see the world in a completely new light that's not always about you think back to what these challenges has taught you about life such a calming feeling and also i just got some groceries for your egg life some veggies and of course that's the thing like i can eat things like this as still. long as i do it in moderation and my gut is still good a good gut is a good girl it's a happy vanilla i'm just hoping that you haven't watched this video today the next time something doesn't go according to plan that you remind yourself that oh my gosh this might be because something so much better than what I thought is about to go down. And you may have to search for it, dig deep for it, but keep on looking because if you do, I believe that miracles are waiting on the other side. You deserve miracles. You deserve the absolute most joy and happiness in your life. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Oh wow. That's actually the camera does not do justice. Your, your it does oh, do justice no, on there. Oh no.